This presentation discusses the use of variables in PHP. What are variables? Variables are simply containers that hold values. In PHP, there are five simple rules that are followed or should be followed to create a variable. First, variables always begin with a dollar sign. Second, following the dollar sign may be letters, A through Z, either uppercase or lowercase, or an underscore. Variable names may also contain numbers, 0 through 9. You must remember that variable names are case sensitive. And finally, variables should describe the values that they are to hold. There are four examples shown on your screen. First name equals Tom. Var 1 equals Tom. Age equals 22. Date equals 22. You'll note that each one of these indicates that they are either a good or a bad example. You may wish to stop the video and ask yourself the question, why are the good examples good and the bad examples bad? PHP variables also sometimes are referred to as scalar variables. A scalar is simply a variable that holds a single value. Values can be assigned as literals, such as in the first example where the variable city has been given the value of London, or scalar variables may receive their value as the result of an expression such as in the second example, where the variable's value of subtotal is multiplied by 0 0.06. An expression is two or more values that are combined or calculated using a PHP operator. In the previous example, where the variable sales tax received its value by the variable subtotal being multiplied by 0 0.06, let's assume that the variable subtotal has a value of 57.38. The expression's calculation would occur first, meaning that 57.38 would be multiplied by 0 0.06, which would result in a value of 3.4428. The result of that expression would then be assigned or stored into the variable sales tax at the conclusion of this operation, sales tax would then end with a value of 3.4428. PHP also supports eight primitive data types, string, integer, float, boolean, array, null, object, and resource. You can learn more about primitive data types by following the URL that appears on the screen located at php.net. Let's take a moment and discuss each of these eight primitive data types. We will begin with strings. A string is a series of characters, alphabetic, A through Z, either uppercase or lowercase, the numbers 0 through 9, or special characters. Included in the list of special characters is the space. A PHP string can contain up to approximately 2 billion bytes, or 2 billion characters. Strings are always surrounded with single or double quotes. In the examples provided, the variable last name is assigned the value of Smith. Please note that Smith is surrounded by single quotes. While the variable street address is equal to 1256 Maple Avenue, Please note that the use of the double quotes around this string and that the string also contains spaces. The second of our primitive data types are integers. Integers are whole numbers, negative or positive. The plus and minus symbols to indicate positive or negative values are also supported. PHP also supports a variety of base numbers, including binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Assigning a numeric value to a variable does not require quotes. In the examples provided, the variable weight is given the value of 2,345, while the balance due variable is given the value of negative 34. Again, please note, neither of these values has quotes around them. 
Another primitive data type is floating point numbers. These values are also referred to more commonly as floats or doubles. They are also known as real numbers. Any number that contains a value to the right of a decimal place is a floating point number. In the examples provided, the sales tax rate variable is stored or has stored into it the value of 0 0.06. The sales tax variable receives its value by taking the subtotal variable and multiplying it by the sales tax rate, which would more than likely arrive at a number that has decimal places with a value to the right of it. It is worth noting that an integer can also be expressed as a floating point number by simply adding a decimal place to it and putting zeros to the right of the decimal place. Booleans are expressions of truth values and can either be true or false. Please note that true or false are usually expressed as all capital constants. True can also be expressed as true lowercase or the value of one. False can be expressed as false, again all lowercase, or the value of zero. When declaring a Boolean, no quotes are used. Using quotes creates a string instead. Notice the examples. The variable logged in is given the value of true, in this case without quotes, meaning it is now a Boolean value, or logged in is given the value of true closed in quotes, which makes it a string. Booleans are commonly used as flags to test whether or not a condition is true or false. Another type is null. Null is a very special character, meaning that it is completely devoid of value. It can only be expressed using the constant null, all capitals. Typically, null occurs when it is assigned specifically to a variable, as you see with the variable flag having the assignment of null to it. Another way that a variable can receive the value of null is by being unset. In this case, the cart variable is being supplied into the PHP function called unset, which would remove all the values from the variable of cart. Lastly, a variable can be assigned but have, excuse me, can be created but have no value assigned to it, such as in the case here where the variable cart is declared but no values assigned. It is very important to remember that in PHP that null is not the same as an empty string. Another primitive data type is an object. An object is an instance of a class. This is part of object-oriented programming. Using a variable to store an instance of a class requires the keyword new. In the example provided, you'll notice that the variable link is being assigned a instance of the PDO class. So new PDO creates a new instance of the class, and the PDO class has three required attributes that need to be sent to it. The variables DSN, username, and password represent those three requirements. The example provided would create an object that allows a connection to a database server and stores it into the variable link so that it could be used in further PHP interactions. Resources is also an object type or a primitive data type in PHP. The resource is a special type holding a reference to an external source. It is advanced and will not be covered but you can learn more about the resources data type by referring to the URL shown on the screen. The last of our data types are arrays. Arrays are variables that hold more than a single value. In the example provided, you'll notice that we have a variable called address, which has been assigned an array that consists of three values, the actual street address, the city name, and the state postal code. Again, three values being stored into a single variable. Arrays are quite involved and are covered in their own video. 
Now that we've had an opportunity to become a little bit more familiar with the primitive data types, we need to understand how PHP works with these when storing them to a variable. The first thing is to understand that PHP is a loosely typed language. Unlike other languages where when the variable is declared, you must specify the type of data that it will hold, in PHP, that type of an assignment is done by PHP depending upon the value that is assigned to the variable. In the example provided, the variable email address is assigned a string in the form of an email address. Because of that, the email address variable automatically assumes the type of string. If you want to see what the value or of the uh, data type is, you can echo, which would mean print to the screen, the um, get type PHP function, and you would set the variable into it as an argument. As you can see on the depiction of the, of the screen, the word string would be echoed out, meaning that the type of the email address is string. It's also important in PHP when using variables to understand the role that quotes play. In PHP, single and double quotes are different. Single quotes, when used, create what are known as literals. Double quotes, when used, allow interpolation. When creating simple strings, both work the same. For example, the variable full name is given the value shown on the screen, Kyla Robertson. Notice single quotes are used. In the second example, the exact same variable with the exact same value is used, except in the second example, double quotes. The end result is that full name would actually have the value Kyla Robertson stored to it, and in this case, the use of single quotes versus double quotes makes no difference. The difference between using single and double quotes appears when variables are included within the quotes. In the example provided, full name still receives the name Kyla Robertson as a string using single quotes assigned to it. However, display name now includes some additional text. Your name is followed by colons and then the variable full name. Please note the use of single quotes on your screen specified in the color red. When display name is echoed back to the screen, however, you'll notice what appears on the screen is your name is followed by the name of the variable. Thus, it's important for you to remember that single quotes make literals, which mean exactly what's inside of the quotes is exactly what will be displayed back. Using the exact same example, with the variable full name being declared inside single quotes, but display name receiving its value, your name is, followed by the variable, completely enclosed in double quotes, allows for interpolation, which means that when we echo display name on the screen, we will see your name is followed by the actual value stored in the variable, in this case, Kyla Robertson. Double quotes allow the value of the variable to be displayed rather than displaying the name of the variable itself. The last topic in this video that we want to discuss is concatenation. Concatenation is when two or more strings are joined together. The PHP operator to concatenate is the period. In the example provided on the screen, you'll notice that display name is receiving the same values as before. However, in this case, your name is colon space is its own string. At the very end of that line, you'll also notice that we have a period also enclosed in single quotes, making it a string. And between these two strings is the variable full name. But in order to join all three strings together, between the two strings on the outside and the variable full name on the inside are periods, depicted in red for your ease in seeing them. 
In this case, if we were to echo display name, we would see your name is colon followed by a space, the value stored in the variable Kyla Robertson followed by a period, which is the last string. Um, this is important to understand that this is the best practice to avoid possible security threats as a result of using double quotes. The final thing for you to know is that my use of graphics here have been provided by clipartpanda.com and follows their terms of use. I hope that the use of this video has better explained and helped you to understand the use of PHP variables.